Steph's here. Welcome, Steph. Yay. Yay. Hi, Steph. And now we're going to, um, Amelia is going to give us some British slang, and we will see if we know what it means. Well, one of the ones I found was arse over tip. And do you want to enunciate that? What, like, arse over tip is like, you well, fell over yeah. arse over tip. Like, you went flying. <laughs> Okay. Um, balmy. Excuse me? Balmy. Like army with a B. Balmy. Barmy. Like, smelly. I would say, um, <laughs> yeah. Raunchy. <laughs> <laughs> that is balmy. Oh, 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 barmy, that's barmy. The enthusiasm is good, but it actually means like, you're like mad, balmy, and crazy. You're ticked. That's more like angry though, isn't it? But what so what do you say? Like, this is angry. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, crazy. Like, crazy. Yeah, no. So, we say like, um, your bungalowed or gazeboed or, I know what a gazebo is, but. Yeah, but like, I wouldn't describe myself. Car park, <laughs> any of those words, but they all mean the same thing. Because you guess what? You just take any word and you add ed to it, and that's what it means. Again, I would say that if I were gazebo, mm -hmm. that would mean I was like stuck. Like mother is stuck, like in the mud. No, I'm not really talking about that. I'm talking about like stuck in a position you don't want to be in. I don't even have a guess. It just means you are really drunk. Gazebo'd, bungalowed. You know what we call it here? Wasted. And that has an ED at the end. And so just smash it. Smash. So you know what? We're not that different after all. Mm -hmm. And just what the these are. I think you know. really awesome. Yeah. You're I see I I knew that in my head it's like a southern accent. Like you're just the baby things. You don't know what wonky is though. Like. Yeah, you're no. gazebo. Like, how am I supposed to know? That makes me think of like really wonka. Think of wonky as something that's like Skewed, like skewed, whereas something that's do lally is like everywhere. It means like. <laughs> if I said to you, um, you've got a lot of bottle doing that, you got a lot of courage. Like, okay. They do that one. Do you know what it means to have a butcher's at something? Have a what? Butcher's. A haircut. <laughs> like, I would say, like, kill something. It just butcher. means to like to have a look at it. So let me have a butcher's at that. Do you ever say like someone is cracking? I would think that that means like they're losing it. Like they're cracking. I would say that means they're cool. I use cracking as like funny, like hilarious, but also it's like cracking. You're stunning. Cracking looking. Oh, it's gonna, that would be a lovely do. It means like party. Do. I would think my hair do. Like, what about fashion around? Um, I think I've heard this one. Like, does it just mean like you're just, just, just fashion around? Do you know what to be fluky is? No, like, they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, the problem with America, they don't care. <laughs> but do you want to know what fluky means? It means like you're really lucky. Put a period at the end of the sentence. A period is a full stop. And <laughs> stop! Dude. Full stop! A full stop. Alright? The fullest. What about knackered? Do you know what that means? No. If you're knackered, you're like really tired. The lurgy. Did you have that when <laughs> you call it elementary school? You used to get the lurgy, which was like a fake illness that like if a boy touched you, you'd be like, oh I've got the lurgy. Cooties! Aww! You have you ever heard cooties? Like 
I'm like yeah. in the back. Oh, oh wait, I'm she sings. Like, that's why she can say these things about me. What? Like, out of my mouth, like, like this, where the sound oh, comes out. It's very like, oh, oh like in the back. Well. <laughs>